Bienvenue à Limité des Caractères Dépassés, le serment critique de mon son con. That's right, most attractive David I've ever seen in my life. Today, we're talking about the French Dispatch. Ooh, another fun one from Wes Anderson, comrades. Well, before too long, it's time to pick that, that stick. stick. I got the book report, a 250-word review. I got the chirp, 280 characters. And that leaves me with the petit review with six words, the Hemingway. <laughs> <laughs> every time a Wes Anderson movie is about to come out, every time, I think, can this be the one? The one where he slips, the one that doesn't land quite right. It ain't happened yet. He's still as whimsical as ever, and this is my favorite release of the year thus far. The French Dispatch follows the titular magazine, a Kansas-based group of reporters that focus on a quirky, fictional French city. It's a costly passion project that seems doomed to fail. Ironically, it seems representative of Wes Anderson's work in general. Not enough people go to the theaters to experience these excellent original films. This is a new narrative format for Anderson. The French Dispatch is a series of vignettes, with three large stories making up the meat of the movie. Each story is well-crafted with memorable characters performed by a star-studded cast. Shout out to Benicio Del Toro and Timothy Muscle Chalamet. They all have fantastic structure with very satisfying conclusions. It's a movie with a lot of heart. You'll really connect with these characters even with the minimal screen time. Immediately after finishing the movie, I wanted to start it again. It is so dense in the best way. It's a watch that's filled with visual jokes and nods. The rewatch value is going to be insane. Please go watch French Dispatch. Watch it three times in theaters. Take your family, take your friends, take your enemies. Let's make those box office numbers bumping. Stepping into Wes Anderson's newest world for the first time was an experience much like trying on a new pair of shoes from your favorite brand. The color palette and pattern may be different, but the fit feels so familiar, yet so fresh, and somehow even better than the last pair. One hour to press. You're fired. Really? Don't cry in my office. Most Wes Anderson, Wes Anderson film. Edward Norton demands a small mustache.